Hello and welcome to this exclusive video. I'm Brad Cussworth and I'm with my business partner Sean Bridger. In this video we'll be sharing some of our secrets to creating a fully customized Facebook fan page. For those of you who haven't heard from us before, Sean and I have been studying the ins and outs of Facebook for more than two years and during that time we've seen it explode from less than 200 million users to more than 500 million users. Facebook is only going to get bigger and better from here and now is the time to educate yourself to really take advantage of this massive opportunity. Facebook have recently made some big changes to personal profiles and this makes custom fan pages even more powerful. You see you can no longer add application tabs or boxes to your personal profiles. Facebook has made a big move to keep personal profiles personal and fan pages for business. Your personal profile should be used to request like-minded friends in your niche market, add value, and build quality relationships. Once you build this foundation, you can then direct these friends to your custom fan page, where you can convert these fans to sales. Now most of you would be very familiar with a page like this one. It just has a standard default tabs at the top of the page, including wall, info, photos, discussions, and video, but it really doesn't do anything to help them to stand out from the crowd. There's really no first impression that will leave a lasting impact, and there's no strategy that will actually convert visitors and fans to a database where you can continue to market to them on an ongoing basis. Now compare a standard page like this to this page that we created for Curic Ashley from the Life Success Club. Now as soon as new visitors come to this fan page, they land on the default landing tab which is the welcome page. Now you'll see we've created a custom designed header at the top and this is to match Curex branding on his own Life Success Club website. You'll see we have multiple tabs where fans can click through to various different pages. And the key with this customized fan page is that we have a welcome video. So Curic has recorded a one minute welcome video, basically welcoming people to his fan page and at the end of the video he offers a free bonus. And this is really a key strategy that we teach. So you want to welcome people to your page and then at the end offer something that will give them an incentive to put their name and email in the right hand side of the page here. The advantage of doing this is that first of all you're adding massive value. You're not trying to sell people into something on the very first meeting. Secondly, you're going to have that person's contact details so you can continue to market on an ongoing basis and continue to add massive value to really focus on building that quality relationship. So you'll see here Curic is giving away free videos, audios and newsletters from his Life Success Club website. Now the key here is adding value. So for the opt-in, you could give away ebooks, mini courses, free video series, discounts, vouchers, just something of value that your niche market might benefit from. By doing this, you're really going to build a loyal fan base and a loyal following, and they're going to be much more likely to purchase off you in the future. Now during this webinar, you'll learn how to create a fully customized header. You'll also learn how to embed your own YouTube video and how to embed an opt-in form so you can start building that list straight away. Guys, these simple strategies along with our training will really enable you to stand out from the crowd and create massive success with your online or offline business. So this webinar will be broken up into simple steps so you can watch, pause and follow along with the steps as you create your brand new fan page. So you will discover how to create a fan page, how to add a welcome tab, how to use the HTML template that we've constructed for you. You'll also learn how to create header images and how to upload those images to a server. We'll also show you how to embed YouTube videos, opt-in forms, how to update the info section, and finally, how to publish your page. Okay, so step number one is creating the actual fan page. So to create a new fan page, you need to go to www.facebook.com forward slash pages forward slash create dot php. And you'll see a page like this opens up. Now, if you haven't logged into your Facebook account, it will ask you to enter your username and your password first. 
Now the first step is to choose what type of page that you want to create. So there's local business, there's brand product or organization, and there's also artist band or public figure. Now you'll see with each option, there's a drop down menu. So if you have a local business, you click on the drop down arrow and you choose what type of business you have. For example, real estate. For this example, I'm going to choose brand product or organization and I'm going to select website. After you have selected the type of page, the next step is to put in a page name. Now guys, it's really important to choose a name that you're happy with because this cannot be changed at a later date. Also make sure you check for spelling errors. So for this example, I'm just going to call it custom fan page webinar. And the last step is to click this little box here, just saying that you're the official representative of this person, business, brand or product. And then you click on create official page and create page once again. And it's as easy as that guys, your fan page is now created. Now just recently, Facebook have added this getting started section to fan pages. And it just makes it easy because they provide a step-by-step -step process to adding the basic information to your fan page. So what I recommend everyone to do is to follow through those steps from one right through to step six and just complete the steps that apply to your fan page. You'll also see the default tabs of the wall, the info, and you can add additional tabs with this plus button. Okay, so now that we've created our new Facebook fan page, the next step is to add the static FBML application to your new fan page. Now this application enables you to add customized tabs and HTML to your fan page. And during this webinar, we're going to show you how you can create your own customized welcome tab. So to add the static FBML application, you just need to go up into the top search box and type in static FBML and you'll see it's the first one that comes up here at the top and you'll see there's over 98 million monthly users. So this is now a very popular Facebook application and the best thing is it's free to add to your fan page. So the first step is to click on the application. You'll then see on the left hand side it says add to my page. And if you have multiple pages, all of your pages will come up here and you just choose the one that you would like to add it to. So the new page that I've just created is custom fan page webinar and I just add to page and then close. Now a common question that we actually get asked is once I've created a new Facebook fan page, how do I find it again from my personal profile? Well, to do this, you simply go to account, manage pages, and then all of your fan pages will come up here and then you just choose the one that you would like to go to and click go to page. Okay so our fan page now opens up and you'll see a few more tabs have now been added to the top of our fan page. We now have a photos tab, discussions tab and you'll see the one on the far right is called FBML1. So this is our static FBML application and this is the one that we are going to edit to become a welcome page. Now with these tabs at the top, you can choose to remove them if you don't want them up there and you can also drag and drop them to new locations. So the first two, wall and info, will be set default tabs so you can't move those. But if we want to move the FBML application right across to the left next to info, we just click and drag and it changes location. Now if you wanted to remove one of these tabs from your Facebook fan page, just click on the tab and then you'll see a pen in the top right corner and you just click on that and delete tab. Okay, so what we need to do next is edit this FBML tab. And to do this, we click on edit page. Now the first thing that comes up on your edit page settings is the basic information. So you can put in the address of your business, the website, the email. You can put in a company overview, a description, a mission statement, when it was founded, and also the products. So that's really easy to fill out from this point. But the section that we want to edit at the moment is applications. So this is where you edit any applications that have been added to your fan page. So you see we have events, photos, video, links, notes. These are all default applications for your new fan page. Then you'll see the ones that we've added, which is the FBML application. And to edit this, we just simply go to application. And you'll see the box title at the top. The default title is FBML. So for this example, I'm just going to change this to welcome, but you can call this whatever you like. 
Now in the box below it says FBML and this is where you're going to paste in your HTML code. Now to make this easier for everyone what I've done is create a basic welcome page template where you can copy my HTML code and then later on in the webinar we're going to show you how you can add your own customized header, YouTube video, opt-in form and also footer. So step number three is copying the HTML code template into your brand new fan page. Now to obtain the welcome page HTML that I've created, you need to go to bit.ly forward slash welcome HTML. So that's http colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash welcome HTML. Now when you go to that URL, you will see that it opens up a notepad file. And this notepad file contains the HTML code that you need to paste in to your new welcome tab. So you see here I've got two lines and you need to copy everything between these two lines. So start at the bottom right where it says table and then drag your cursor all the way up to the top left. Once it's all highlighted you need to right click and copy and then we need to go back to the fan page in Facebook, back into the FBML box and you need to make sure the cursor is inside this box right click and paste and you'll see the code is now pasted in here. Now for most of you this will look like a foreign language but I'm actually going to take you through step by step so you know exactly what you need to change in order to get your custom fan page looking the way you like it. Now once you've pasted in the code you need to make sure you scroll down the bottom and click on save changes. Now if you want to navigate back to your fan page you just click on the heading in the top left up here. You'll see the title of our tab has now changed to welcome and if I click on the welcome tab you'll see the template now loads for our custom fan page. So I have the header image up here. This is a YouTube image where if we click on here a YouTube video will load. Then we have the footer image and then I've just got some text here saying this is where your autoresponder HTML code goes. So don't freak out, I'm going to show you how you can put in that code later on in the webinar. Now you'll see with these images, I've actually included the height and the width that they need to be. So for example, your header image needs to be 520 pixels wide by 150 pixels high. Now the 150 can change, but it's important you keep the 520 the same. The YouTube video needs to be approximately 280 by 210. Now this just ensures that you have enough room to put in your autoresponder opt-in form. And at the bottom, the footer needs to be 520 wide once again and approximately 70 high, but this can vary. Now in terms of the template that we've created, this is what we recommend to get the best results with your fan page. So what we're going to show you how to do is how to make the welcome tab the default landing tab for your new fan page. That means whenever new visitors come to your fan page, this is the first impression that they see. The goal for this fan page is for them to watch your welcome video, and then at the end of the welcome video, you offer some sort of free bonus or giveaway for your business product or service. In order for them to receive the free giveaway, they need to enter their name and their email in the opt-in form to the right, which will go in this space here. That way you convert your visitors and your fans to your own targeted list where you can continue to add massive value to them and you can continue to market your business product or service over a period of time. Guys, this is such a powerful strategy and we can't emphasize this enough. You really need to have a face and a personality behind the business that you're trying to promote. And by having a welcome video, you're really putting yourself out there as someone who's got something to offer and you're really going to start standing out from the crowd because not many people know how to do this. Okay, so step number four is to download the welcome page instruction sheet located at bit.ly forward slash welcome instructions. So that's http colon forward slash forward slash bit.ly forward slash welcome instructions. Okay, so that URL will open up this PDF document. Now guys, this is one of the most important steps and it's really important you follow along with this and really understand what I'm about to guide you through. 